Hey guys, Tom here, and today I am bringing you my WWE Money in the Bank 2016 predictions. If you guys could smash the likes, if we can go for 300 likes on today's video, that would be absolutely awesome. Anyway, in today's video, we're going to be predicting every single match at Money in the Bank. And at the last pay-per-view, Extreme Rules... I got every single prediction right, so you are in the right place if you want to know who is winning on Sunday. I will also be doing a live stream later in the week of these predictions. You guys can get involved, you can join the live chat, talk to me along with my predictions, but this video is also going to be my predictions as well. So let's get right into it. So the two kickoff show matches, Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin is up first, and I'm going to go for Baron Corbin to win this match. This really should be the final match in this feud. How this feud is still going on, I have no idea, but Baron Corbin has to win the final match in this feud, or it will all be a waste of time. Dolph Ziggler has to put over Baron Corbin in this match. It will legitimize Corbin's uh, call-up to the main roster, and Corbin can hopefully, with a win here, move on to bigger and better things. The next kickoff show match was Apollo Crews versus Sheamus, and my winner, pretty easy one to predict here, is Apollo Crews. Now, Apollo Crews, he hasn't had a match on Raw for weeks, and really, he's lost all his momentum. He spent ages building up, and then he just disappeared. So he really needs to get his momentum back with a win over Sheamus at Money in the Bank. Now, Apollo Crews, if you look at it, he really hasn't had a big win over a legitimate superstar, and Sheamus is that guy where Apollo Crews can beat Sheamus and firstly get a big win on the main roster. And this is the new era, so with Corbin winning his match and Crews winning his match, this really sends out a bold statement about the new era in the WWE. So the next match we're going to predict is that one of the only matches on the main card. It is the WWE Tag Team Championship match. It's a fatal four-way tag team match. The New Day versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, versus Enzo Amore and Big Cass, versus the Vaude Villains. Now, the winners for me are new tag team champions, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. I think it's time for the New Day to drop the titles. The New Day, they've been good as champions, but they've faced everybody, and it's getting a little bit boring now. I think we need fresh new faces at the top of the division, and I can either see the New Day retaining for one more pay-per-view and then dropping it in a few months, or Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson winning. The Vaude Villains and Endor More, they're too new to the, uh, and, and Big Cass are too new to the, to the division. There's no way they're winning the tag team titles here. The club, they're going to make a big statement on Money in the Bank. I think AJ is going to win his match, and I think the club, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, are going to win this match. The WWE, they paid a lot of money for Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. They've got to go with it. The club will be a legitimate force at the end of the night. And it's going to be at the top. They're going to be at the top with the tag team titles. The United States Championship match: Rusev against Titus O'Neil. This is probably the easiest one to predict. Rusev is still the United States Champion at the end of the night. This is a filler match. Rusev only won the title last month at Extreme Rules. They're building Rusev's character up to be an unstoppable, unstoppable beast. So there's no way he's losing to Titus O'Neil. The next match is Charlotte and Dana Brooke versus Natalia and Becky Lynch. My winner, my prediction is Natalia and Becky Lynch. They don't need Charlotte's team to win because Charlotte is the women's champion. Fans enjoy and like to see a champion look vulnerable and a win for Natalia and Becky will exactly do that. And also this alliance between Dana and Charlotte makes absolutely no sense, so I think if Charlotte and Dana Brooke lose here, we will see their alliance break down. For me, Natalia and Becky Lynch are winning here, and it's going to be a nice feel-good moment, but really, does anybody care about that match? Then, we've got the match which probably most people care about. It's the Money in the Bank ladder match. It changes the whole complexion of the WWE in one single night. We've got Sami Zayn, Cesaro, Jericho, Ambrose, Owens, and Alberto Del Rio. My winner is Dean Ambrose. Dean fucking Ambrose has got to win this match. Sami Zayn, he isn't ready to win the World Heavyweight Championship and carry the company. No way, Jose. It doesn't look like they really know what to do with Cesaro at this current time. Chris Jericho, he's going to leave soon, so obviously he's not winning the briefcase. Kevin Owens, he's set to resume his feud with Sami Zayn, so I think that's going to keep him busy instead of the world title picture. And Alberto Del Rio's in this match 
to make up the numbers, so he's not winning either. So, with Dean Ambrose hitting the dirty deeds on Roman Reigns on Raw, they really have foreshadowed a triple threat match with the Shield for the World Everweight Championship. What was the point of having that segment if Dean Ambrose wasn't winning the briefcase? We should have had a triple threat match between these guys ages ago, and it, they're finally going to go with it. They're going to have Dean Ambrose win the briefcase, and we're going to have a triple threat match between the Shield members. We should have had it ages ago. It looks like we're finally going to get it. Ambrose, Rollins, and Roman, they are the top three guys in the company. I really want to see that match. its They should have put the world title on Dean Ambrose ages ago. This should be great. Let's go for Dean Ambrose in this match. John Cena against AJ Styles. My winner is AJ Styles. AJ Styles, he's lost three straight pay-per-view matches in a row. Styles, he's desperate for a pay-per-view win. John Cena, he's come back. He needs to put over AJ Styles in this match. Styles has just reformed the club. The faction needs to look strong. They're going to look strong when they win the tag team titles. And they're going to look strong when AJ Styles wins here. Styles and the club will win both matches at Money in the Bank. And will take all the headlines, I believe. Do you remember when Seth Rollins and Roman won the tag belt? And Dean Ambrose won the United States Championship at Extreme Rules? I think that's what's going to happen here. I think the club are going to win both matches and take all the spotlight. They've paid so much money for AJ Styles, he cannot take another loss, especially against John Cena. If he does, he's officially buried. So I think AJ Styles has got to win here, and he will. Main event, WWE World Heavyweight Championship match, Roman Reigns against Seth Rollins. Winner, Roman Reigns. It's not a popular decision, but I think Roman Reigns is winning this match. This feud is set to continue for, for a few more pay-per-views, so I don't think Seth Rollins is taking the title in the first match. He might in a few months, but not in the first match. Everybody thinks Rollins is the best wrestler, and I think Vince has set this story up so he can kind of put over Roman and prove that he can wrestle with the best. Um, Roman will prove that even though he didn't beat Rollins for the title, he can still beat him at Money in the Bank, and he is the true champion. Vince isn't going to have Seth come back and beat Roman Reigns just like that. That would make Roman look weak. It would make Roman look like a paper champion. He's not going to do that. Roman's only really just won the belt a few months ago. Roman's going to walk out with the title. He's been, an, he's been doing an okay job. He's not been fantastic, but he's, he's getting better. This will be a brilliant match. It will make both guys look great, so I don't think there's a problem with Roman winning here. They're my predictions for Money in the Bank. Smash the likes. 300 would be great. Take care. Spike your hair.